Hi there. I'm out in my car again and I'm ready to do another 21 day prompt. This is day four. And I am still doing urban sketching. It's so beautiful out. I just have to be out in urban sketching. And where am I at today? This is the now very quiet swimming pool in Middleton. I will say that school, this is September, September 3rd, and school's in session and the pool is closed. But I want to talk about day four's prompt at voices, phobias. Think of a, a fear that you have, like an ultraphobia fear, and what would it take to conquer it? Well, I'm pointing at the swimming pool, the high boards, jumping off the high boards. What would it take to conquer that fear? But I'm going to kind of use this as inspiration for what I'm going to write. So I'm going to talk about ultraphobia fears and fears in general in response to the prompt at Voices. I am going to do urban sketching today. Thursday, September 4th, 2015. Letter from Mary at the Mary Atelier. Think about a fear you have, an ultraphobia fear. What would it take for you to conquer it? Day 4 journal prompt from Voices Facebook group. Fear. Yes, I have a few. Ultraphobia? Well, I need to think about that. To be honest, I don't consciously think too much about phobias, mine or anyone else's. Fear. It is an interesting emotion. Some fears, I think, are valid fears. They warn one of danger, something or someone or some place to avoid if at all possible. In that sense, I think fear is to be respected, listened to, and obeyed for our own safety. Even good fear, though, I think can become a phobia if we let it control us to the point that our thoughts and our lives are consumed by it. Well, it turns into an unhealthy worry. You see a stop sign, you obey it, because if you don't, well, you, you risk the wrath of a policeman, a ticket, or worse, a death. But you don't let that fear consume your life. You stop. You go when it's your turn to go, and then you go on with your day. At least most of us do. Phobias seem different to me. Phobias control our emotions in our lives. Okay. So then is every phobia something that has to be conquered? I had and still perhaps still have a fear of jumping off the high board. I'm not sure I completely conquered that phobia. Well, I tried. In college, I got to the point where I could walk to the very edge of the high board and jump off feet first. But then I never really conquered doing backflips and those fancy dives that I so admired other swimmers doing. So here's the question. Just how important is it for me to have conquered that ultraphobia of doing fancy dives off the high board? What would it ultimately prove? Would I actually be a better person? Is my life any less because of such an unconquered phobia? I say no. So put those phobias to the test. Don't let anyone convince you that somehow you are not a whole person because of your phobic fears. Put them to the test. Are your fears preventing you from living a normal life? Are your fears causing someone else to fear or enjoy your company? Or are they causing harm to someone else? 
Is it a personal goal, that, a decision that you make on your own to conquer a fear? Or is it because someone else is prodding you and insistent that you conquer that fear? Will someone else benefit from you conquering your own fear? When you conquer a fear, say of doing something that where well, you risk your own safety for the benefit of someone else, maybe their life or, or their freedom. Well, that's courage. That's bravery. But some phobias, I think, are okay to remain phobias. You won't see me jumping off the high board again anytime soon. And you won't hear me telling you about my rock climbing and my skydiving exploits. Those are for other people. I'm content to get out my sketchbook and go over and sketching. I'm content to explore how many blues I can get from a shade of blue with black and white. I'm content to explore all the different ways to represent a line with just a pencil and a pen. I'm content to share my videos on YouTube. So what would it take me to conquer my fears? Well, I think a willingness on my part, a valid reason to try. Maybe if doing so would save a life. But really, I think some phobias, just like mean dogs, should just not be kicked. Life is too short, and there's too much else to enjoy. Like urban sketching. Thursday, September 3rd, 2015. Mary at the Mary Atelier. I'm still doing some urban sketching today. I'm just out enjoying the day. It's a beautiful day. I am, I am over in the Greenway Station again, and I kind of like this view. This is just, you'll see this in your urban areas a lot. I kind of like this view. This is a restaurant. I'm out in a parking lot. There's a farmer's market going on in this parking lot way off to my left. But I kind of like this view. I kind of like the, the restaurant and the folded up umbrellas and the shade trees. And I just think I'm going to sketch it just for the practice of doing a sketch in my building. So I'm going to point my camera down and get started. just finished this one. I'm just having fun doing urban sketches. I moved to another view and since I did that window yesterday, I found another window to do. I'm going to sketch this lady in the window here. So fun to do.